And we're underway here in this massive game for Team Italy, needing a win and some help to secure the place in the final against Team Bermuda. Back for Mike Varelli. Varelli across there for Davizio, and here's the dangerous Daniel Satachi. He sends that in off the stick of Fiacola. The Mercenary, Ari Merkin out there. Here for Apanian. Tro Apanian. Hold, sends that in. And that's knocked away there by the Italian goaltender, Donardo. Couple of big men come together there as Giordano. It goes down to the floor. So it's Donardo in goal for Team Italy. Kanadzian, Rafi Kanadzian in net for Armenia for the first time here at the Glacier as Jacques Aruchian. We'll have this game off and Armenia out of contention here for the playoff round. Italy will be in the playoff round, but whether it's a bronze medal or a gold medal game is still up to them. And that will depend on games later today on the schedule. So just to give fans a rundown of what's going on here, Team Hong Kong, five games played, six points. Team Italy, five games played, six points. And Italy scores as I'm going over that. I apologize for missing that goal. Cayman Islands, five games played, five points. So those four teams will be in the medal round in the men's division. But we don't know where they will fall. We know Bermuda will finish first. But second, third, and fourth are still up for grabs here. There's games this afternoon. Team Israel will play. The Cayman Islands at 2 p.m. here at the Glacier. And Great Britain will play Hong Kong over at the Jack Byrne Arena. Pascuzo in there. Socio shoots wide. That shot off the end boards. Panaroni's there. Panaroni shoots. And that's high and over the goal. Panaroni. Panaroni turns that over. Nazarian out there for Team Armenia. Merkin on the back check. Speedy Satachi forcing him. The Merkinary, Ari Merkin, sends that wide here. Chipped into the zone. Around here for Giordano. Giordano runs into the Mercenary. That's not one who you want to see when you look up coming off the boards. Davizio for Giordano. Davizio back here for Contento. Anthony Contento. 
Contento sends that ahead. On the right side here. For Vito Tomasicchio. Back here. Rafael Vardesarmian, who came up to the booth to make sure I got his name right after hearing the replay of the broadcast. So Rafael Vardesarmian, my new buddy here, Vardesarmian, goes for a change. And back there is Palermo. Palermo, as the Armenians set up the 1 2 2 4 check. Watch closely here by Gabby Masakian, who we thought was out. Scarito, Goodwill, Scarito! Scarito! Scarito with the goal! Beautiful effort by Salvatore Scarito. Absolutely beautiful effort, Scarito. And the Italians go up 1-0. 2-0, excuse me. Anthony Muia takes a hack on the hand there going by. Palermo sends out a hand. And it's Muia. Muia. That's knocked away into the corner by Kanadjian. Muia. Out front to Vizio. Misses that one. Davizio hammers that one wide. And the Armenians off to a slow start here in this one. Abrahimian has the stick not out of his hand by Davizio. Danunzio. John Danunzio. Just out of the reach of Bernardo. For Lisi, excuse me. Face off back in the Italian zone. 9.07 remaining here in the first. Knocked down there by Vardas Armian. Vardas Armian over here on the near side. Kalachian. Nazarian, Nazarian back here. Vardas Armian, Vardas Armian sends that in deep. Vito Tomasicchio. Sorry, that's Panaroni down there battling. Scolgio, Vince Scolgio sends out ahead. Scolgio coming together with the Mercenary over there. Was Ferlisi and the Mercenary throwing his body around early. Ferlisi back here for Contento. Contento winds, fires, and a real nice save by Kanadjian. Vardas Armian in the corner works that one away. Vardas Armian turns it over for Pascuzo. With a nice feed for Tomasicchio, Elio Pascuzzo goes to the front, Pascuzzo. And that goes just wide. The Mercenary sends that around here, pass content to him down. And that would have went for icing, but it's on Donardo. So Donardo will play that ahead. Contento for Tomasicchio. Tomasicchio looking for the streaking Satachi. As they come together down there, Tomasicchio and Naznadian. Here's Satachi, always dangerous. Fiaconi back there 
to settle things down. Adriano Fiaconi. Danunzio out there now for Team Italy. Danunzio, here's Salvatore Scarito who scored that beautiful goal minutes ago. Seven minutes to play here in the first. Scarito back here for Fiaconi. That's sent in long and on Canadian. Knocked away here and away come the Armenians. Sulekian sends that in. Masakian working hard down low. Actually, that's Jabikian. These jerseys a little easier to read for Team Armenia. The home whites. And that'll be held for a face off to the left of the Armenian goalkeeper. That's hammered in there by Davizio. That one on goal, flipped out and down. And on the attack is Kalashian. He runs into Contento down there. Walking on that and a nice save. Rebound, goal! That looks like Nazarian. Nazarian gets the Armenians back in this one. One one on the board here at the rink. I've got two to one as the score. What? And it is one one. I apologize. Apologize, folks, it's 1-1 one, one here. And I had given cre Italy credit for a goal that ended up being a crease violation. So I apologize. I'm the one that made the mistake there. It's 1-1. One one. So Scarito's goal made it 1-0. And now it's 2-1 as Adriano Fiaconi helps me out. So Fiaconi responds back and Team Italy women sticking around after their big win to cheer on the men. As the Forza Italia chairs go up. Number 
It's going to be a slashing call here. I think that's it's either Felici or Scarito. Scarito goes for the slashing call. That one gets past Ferelli and back into the zone. Mike Ferelli, big man with the bigger heart we had up here earlier this week. And after that is Giordano. Mistake by the linesman there. As Team Italy had sent it down on the penalty kill. Panaroni will send that down, but big Mike Uremian is on that. Mike Uremian talked about it with Mike yesterday. As Merkin was offside over here on the left side. Talked about it with Uremian yesterday about his strategy on the power play. And Uremian says, get the ball to the net. Good things happen, and I couldn't agree more with you, Mike. So you'll see Merkin and Uremian, depending on which side the ball is on, one of those guys will come up top looking for the big one-timer. And those two big men can hammer it. And the Merkin area will bring it up the floor here. Harry Merkin. Harry Merkin shouting instructions. His chip doesn't get deep, though. And the Vizio will send that out and down. Michael Solvay, can I get a good luck shout out to Chalkboard Satachi from his neighbor Zach Montana Guillard. I would love to know where the story Chalkboard comes from. But that's it. We'll be calling Dan Chalkboard from now on. Somebody please fill us in here. Abrahamian in there with Mua. Mua. Hill sends it back here. Merkin. The Merkinary. And that's a Knocked away with an active stick there by Muya. Merkin keeps that on side for Hill. For Merkin. Merkin Hill. Merkin. Over here, Uremian, and that is a good read. Over there by Bernardo. Uremian for Merkin. Merkin fires. That's just wide of the net and around. And here's Muya away with Bernardo on a two-on-one. Merkin back. He's a forward. That rolls off the stick. And straight to Kanadjian in the Armenian goal. Two seconds remain now in the Scarito penalty. And a quick note to Italian fans who are watching... Uh, Christina Carney, who missed this morning's game with her fighting suspension. She'll be back tomorrow for the fifth place game. So Carney missed one game, but she'll be back tomorrow. As she's finished gooning it up here at the 2013 World Ball Hockey Championship. Nice read there. By Kalachian to pick off that pass from Denuncio. Kalachian sends that on goal. Donardo makes the save. Mike Ferelli sends that around here. And we've got a penalty coming to the Armenians. Two minutes for interference with a minute 53 remaining. And that calls on Taposian.
Folks, keep it up with the Twitter and email. We are setting records, absolute records for participation, viewership, social media here at the 2013 World Ball Hockey Championships. We're proud to be a part of it and very glad to have you participating all the way here. Satachi, chalkboard Satachi back there. Davizio has that roll away, but a great play by Davizio to keep that on side for Tomasicchio. Satachi, always dangerous back here for Ficoni. Davizio across here. Tomasicchio fires just wide. Around here, Adriano Ficoni. Ficoni, Tomasicchio. Satachi in there digging away. Varelli can't find that one. Ficoni. Pass for Satachi. Oh, and Satachi had Tomasicchio back door. And a nice play there by Kanadjian, Rafi Kanadjian, to corral that loose ball. That draw one. Back here for Palermo. Tomasicchio, Palermo shoots. And that's off Uremian in front for Lisi. For Panaroni, Panaroni for Palermo shoots. And that's blocked nicely by Ibrahimian, who shakes that one off. Thirteen seconds remains here. Palermo, Palermo, fake shot, Panaroni shot is blocked, and great job by these Armenian penalty killers. Fired in by Palermo, and Kanedjian not expecting that as that's tipped wide. Well, we'll go to the break here. Team Italy 2, Team Armenia 1, and we'll be back right after this.
Back here, folks, John DeVizio in some uh, apparent pain down there on the floor. Seems to be okay. He's just explaining to the trainer what happened. Looks like he was, took a shot in the face there. But he's okay. Thirteen <clears throat> twenty remains here in the second. 2-1 Team Italy leads. Here's Elio Pascuzo. Elio Pascuzo ahead for Solgios. Pascuzo, Solgio. Oh, what a massive save down there by Kanadjian. As he stacks the pads a la Bill Ranford. Pascuzo with the shot and another big save. As Kanadjian's getting his bearings here, having not played a whole lot in the tournament. And the Mercenary takes that, fires it out and down. But how about that sequence from Kanadjian? As his players let him know he's doing a great job. Luck to Team Italy, shout out from Danielle and Jesse. Thank you guys. And again, we gather a lot of information via Twitter. Looks like Greg Bursey will get the start for Cayman Islands today. Not sure. Uh, there's a problem with Randy Cannon. Fia Cole on the draw. There's Thomas Seguio hard on that. Thomas Seguio sends it in front. Fia Cola, Contento calling for it at the blue line. Cross for Satashi, and that goes high into the rafters here at the Mount Pearl Glacier. One timer, Davizio back out there, so he's okay. Scarito fires that high. Giordano now. Giordano, as the Italians move around, looking for an open man. For Lisi, for Davizio. Panaroni back here at the top, looking for the one timer. They keep it down low. Scarito now on that. Scarito sends it back around here for Felici. Felici pulls up, sends it deep for Giordano. Giordano for Felici. Lots of possession here for the Italians, but no tries on net. Panaroni with a good read as he beats the man on the wing to that. The Italians with real good pressure there. Now, finally, Armenia will get away. Aremian sends that high over here on the right side for Troopanian. Breakaway for Dave DeVizio, and he 
Deeks himself out as he ends up in the corner. No shot. Bernardo loses the handle. Knocked down by Varelli, who makes a nice pass here. To Davizio. Davizio shoots. That's off Uremian in the corner for Muia. Anthony Muia back here. Varelli. Varelli could have one time that one off Haig Avedisian, who blocks that and is in some discomfort, I'm sure. Muia. Muia behind the goal. Watch there by Apanian and Uremian. Varelli fires all off the chest. What a shot by Mike Varelli. As that was a bomb. Mwia. Canadian with a good job of identifying his team needs a whistle. Jumping on that. Exactly five minutes gone here in the first. Good luck, Team Italy. And that's from Estelle Felici. Thank you, Estelle. Here's Merck in the Merkinary. Sends out ahead. To Posey and taking in hard. No call. Ooh, Contento gets the stick up down there. Referees letting them play here. And here's Sogio, Vince Sogio. He's tripped by Merkin. And now the Merkinary will be called as 921 remains here on the clock. It's a couple of hard hits. And now Ari Merkin's whistled for tripping. That's, oh, what a play down there by Haig Avedisian to knock that out of harm's way. Davizio, Tomasico shot tipped in front by Satachi. Konejian doing very well down there now after a bit of a slow start. Davizio met out there by Apanian. Apanian who's been very good for Team Armenia. Tomasicchio, Tomasicchio, fired there by Fiacola. And that's out and down by Raphael Vardazarmian. Fiaconi, nice pass for Davizio there. Satachi in on that. Oh, a bit of a late call there by the official. <laughs> that almost bit Avedisian. Letting the play go there. That was a bit of a late call by the official.
It's out and down. Five on three now for 30 seconds for Team Italy. Palermo. Head here for Scarito. Scarito takes that to the net. Knocked away. Here's P Panaroni back. Firing. That's Palermo. Nice save by Kanedjian down there. Uremian backhands that up. And that's off the facing of the press box. That'll be a face off to the right of the Armenian keeper. 10 seconds remaining in the five on three. Scarito back here for Palermo. Donardo started the countdown a little bit early. One timer by Giordano and that comes around Scarito. Merkin back into the play. Palermo shoots, that's off a of body in front. Merkin will pick that up and away comes Team Armenia, Harry Merkin. The Merkin area hits the line. Nazarian whistled on the offside. Couple of tough calls for Team Armenia there. Merkin bows with Fiaconi down there. And that sent out. One minute remains in the power play. DeVizio able to keep that one onside for Varelli. Varelli, DeVizio. In deep for Fiaconi back here for DeVizio. DeVizio. That's turned over. And Jabikian, or sorry, Masakian almost gets away. I'm surprised to see. Gabby Masakian out there today. Oh, well, Jabikin over commits on that one, but it works out as that goes out and down. Satachi, Satachi winds, and that's off the post. Davizio, 10 seconds left in the power play. Vizio, Satachi, Satachi, Davizio, Davizio walks, has some room, shoots. And that's high and wide. Varelli over here for Satachi. Back to even strength now as Abrahamian joins the play. In for Fiaconi. Merkin takes Fiaconi out. Merkin takes a high stick there and he is down. Harry Merkin takes a stick in the face, no call. Merkin slow to get up here. Referee lets us know no goal because the net was off. Merkin gets that one right in the eye. See, he's visibly shaking on the way, but you don't get a name like the Merkin Erie for no reason. He'll be back out there. Around here for Opinion. Italy's certainly been dominating the play here in the zone these last few minutes. Contento, Contento ships that off the boards here for Ferlisi. Nice play down there by Ibrahimian to break that up. Jabikian, Jabikian over here. And Giordano's on that. Giordano, nice play by Avedisian to knock him away.
Bernardo on the draw. That's in there. Sent back around here. Denuncio. Denuncio. Denuncio shoots. That's why out of Kanedjian down there in the net. Nazarian. Nazarian back here. Vardis. Vardis Army in ahead for Nazarian. That's just onside. But chipped away by Davizio. That's turned over by Denuncio. Wide over here on the right wing. Davizio working hard down low on Sulekian. Breakaway pass here for Davizio. Dave Davizio in backhand. And Kanedjian stops that one, although Davizio had an empty net and he is frustrated with himself for not burying that one. Panaroni's back. That's turned over to Kalachian. All on that one. Sends it in front. Scores! That hits something in front and gets up behind DiNardo. Tough luck for John DiNardo down there, the Italian net. 2 2 now with two. Excuse me, 356 remaining in the second period. Hang on for a good finish, folks. Merkin gets the red line. He's hacked there on the way by. Charles Panion in there working hard again. Away comes for Lisi. That's chipped ahead there. Panaroni picks it off. Satachi and Tomasicchio away. Satachi, Tomasicchio wides, fires. And a very nice save down there by Rafi Kanadjian. Two fifty one. Crease violation called their Satachi face off will come outside. Chipped out and down. Davizio wins that battle. Fiaconi for Satachi. 225 remains on the second. Tomasicchio one timer. And Tomasicchio also a veteran, and he lives by the motto get it on the net. Tomasicchio tripped. And Taposian will go there. 
for the trip. Team Italy back to the power play. Two two with two ten remaining. And Team Armenia on the penalty kill again as Hill sends that out and not down this time. He'll get it out there, Hill. And Kalachin on the PK here. Uremian. And Kabinian out there with them. And Kanadjian. Stops that one with 150 remaining in the period, 140 in the power play. Fiaconi. Fiaconi sees Thomas Ciccio rink wide. Thomas Sikio can't hang on to that, and it's sent down as Donardo will come out, set that up for DeVizio. DeVizio ahead for Satachi, who makes a nice play to gain the blue line. Satachi, Thomas Sikio fires, and Vito Thomas Sikio can hammer that puck. Mike Uremian out and down. Wide side here, and that's knocked away. And Satachi, the forward, is back, and he makes a nice play to block that shot by Abrahamian. Tavizio ahead for Tomasicchio. Tomasicchio chips that in for Giordano. Tomasicchio holds. He's going to shoot. He always does. Just wide. And Mike Ferrelli's going to go here for the high stick. So with 44.5 seconds left, we'll play four on four for 34 seconds. And then Team Armenia will go to the power play. As Drake plays over the speakers, clearly violating this broadcaster's no Drake policy here at the 2013 World Ball Hockey Championships. Anthony Muia. Muia fires another save by Kanedjian, who certainly has an unorthodox style down there in the Armenian net, but he is getting the job done here in this game. As the Italian girls still awake over there. Panaroni. Sends that in here. Fired by Muia. Away comes Team Armenia. 25 seconds left. That's going to be a trip on Bernardo. And with 18 seconds left, that's an unnecessary penalty for Matthew Bernardo to take. So in eight seconds, Team Armenia will go on a five on three advantage. Knocked down by Panaroni, who sends it down the floor. Nine seconds remain in the period. The Desarmian sends that ahead. Knocked down by Panaroni, and that'll do it. For period number two, so Team Armenia will start. Team Armenia will start the third period with a two-man a, a two man advantage for a minute 16. So Team Armenia with a glorious opportunity now coming up and I'm sure they'll go over their strategy here in the intermission and we'll take a quick break to go over our strategy and we'll be right back.
So we're back here for the exciting conclusion of this one, Team Armenia, Team Italy. Nice play, Abrahamian hits Hill, Hill shoots, saved by Donardo, and that's a big save there to start the third period. Uremian for Hill. For Ari Merkin, 30 seconds to go on the power play. Merkin walks around for Yaconi. Merkin has Nazarian going to the net, a shot. That's knocked away by Donardo. Hill. And Hill loses that battle, and away comes Giordano. Giordano smartly killing some time and sends that back deep in the zone. So a good penalty killing job there by Mike Giordano. And the first penalty to Varelli is over. 25 seconds remain in the penalty to Bernardo. That's knocked ahead. Ferdizarmian is there. And back for Uremian. Uremian for Vardazarmian. Vardazarmian sends that deep. Eight seconds remain the Bernardo penalty. So Armenia unable to capitalize on this power play opportunity. Nazarian, Avedisian sneaking in. Bernardo out of the box, back to even strength. Vardazarmian sent deep for Apanian. Apanian takes Varelli in on the boards. Chipped out and down, and that's going to go for icing. And we'll have a face-off back in the Italian zone with 159 gone here in the first. Third, the third, it's the third, folks. And I cannot help but tap my foot to this Daft Punk song every time I get an opportunity. May have more to do with Pharrell's soothing voice on the track there. Who doesn't like a bit of Pharrell Williams? Here we go again, Satachi chases that one down. Satachi out here. Here's Contento, he lets that fly. Crease violation called in there. And the faceoff will come outside the zone. As Billy Talent back on the speaker here. How can you go from Daft Punk to Billy Talent? Contento. Fiaconi lets that one fly. Walking, shooting. Out here for Contento, he rims that in around. Sent wide here for Kalachian. Sends it deep in Satachio retreat for the Italians. 12 minutes remain, shots on goal in this game. 24 to seven for Team Italy. Two to two though is the important number with 11.40 remaining. And that'll go for icing. Face off back in the Team Armenia zone. Well, during this break and play, team captain from Team Israel, Ryan Kimmel, has come up here and Tati, if we can get a shot here been presented with this Team Israel shirt and I will wear that with pride so thank you very much Ryan and good luck to you guys now while I got you here I just sent out a tweet I'm not sure on the tie-breaking formula but from what I can see a win today puts you guys in the bronze medal game uh, assuming that Armenia ties or loses our game means winner win winner goes to the bronze medal game okay Okay, that's what I thought. So it's the head-to-head -head is the tiebreaker. If Armenia is to win, there is still a possibility that we have a chance to get in only by, we would have to have a massive game against Cayman. We'd have to win by 
six or seven goals. Okay, so what was your result? Did you guys tie Armenia? How did, what? We lost to Armenia. That was the 4-2 loss. Okay, but there would be a three-way tie. Three-way tie with five points. Okay. And where everybody would have beaten everybody else. Okay. Thing. So yeah. okay. It's, uh, it's, we need Italy to come up big. So that's that old scenario, the, the three-way tie that we see so often in these events. Yeah. Well, Ryan, good luck, you guys. Yeah. We'll have this shirt on display. And, uh, appreciation. And congratulations, you guys. Your first win yesterday. Sorry I wasn't there to see it. Um, I saw the pictures. I saw the video. How was that? It was unbelievable. Our team was, uh, we were tired and exhausted, and we laid everything out on the floor, and it, I couldn't have asked for a better result. It was unbelievable. So do you guys have it in the tank here today? I think we're all rested and ready to go. All right, well, good luck. I'll let you get ready, Ryan. Thanks, we'll talk to you after. Right, Cheers. So another piece of tournament paraphernalia now as we have the Team Israel polo here in the booth. So, again, folks, unbelievable the type of people involved in this ball hockey tournament. Fierce competitors, but great guys. So you heard it there from Ryan Kimmel, team captain, Team Israel. They're looking for Italy to keep Armenia to four points here in the tournament. And then a win gets them in. So that, that time of day here at the tournament where people are becoming big fans. So Team Israel got their Team Italy. Jerseys on here cheering them on. Always very interesting scenarios with one minute to play here, or one minute to go, excuse me, in the Scarito penalty. Scarito must be up there as with the penalty minute leaders in this tournament as he spent a lot of time over there in the box. Scarito, a fast player, an emotional player, sometimes gets him in a bit of trouble with the officials. That's in deep. As the Armenians control, big Ari Merkin. Merkin with the ball. There you know they're looking for Uremian here on the power play. Nazarian shoots. That's high in Donardo. And he'll hold for a whistle with 9.21 to play in the third. 27 seconds left in the power play. Here we are, it's Mike Uremian. Mike Uremian over here for Merkin, the Merkinary. Uremian, 16 seconds in the power play. Uremian, we've seen him just lob that ball on net. If he has a lane, almost turned over. Now the Merkinary has a break. Merkin, and big Mike Varelli gets a stick on that. Out here, Uremian. Here you might see Uremian let it go. Penalty about to expire to Scarito. Back here for Uremian. Uremian lobs that in on the goal. And again we see Uremian finding those lanes to the net. Here's Hill. Hill, a diving effort there by Contento as he can't get it out. Abrahamian sends out in front. Frantic pace here. And here's Mike Giordano. He'll chip that out. And that'll actually hit the facing above the glass. So we'll get a face off here. And it looks like it'll be just outside. The team Italy's own. And Kinejan comes out to play. That is DeVizio, the speedy. Dave DeVizio gets in there and forces a face off. Ahead there 
for Cabanian. Cabanian. Back here for Vardasarmian. Vardasarmian. Rafael Vardasarmian. He sends that ahead. And that's in. And he made a comment when he came up earlier. He made his nurses learn his name. He told me what it was. So I'm going to go ahead and say he's probably Dr. Rafael Vardasarmian. Nazarian takes down Davizio. Bernardo in there. Dave Davizio. Backhand cross light pass. Obviously knocked down there by Salakian. John Davizio sends that wide, and the Italians will go for a change. Vardasarmian sends that up the floor. A little too far out of the reach. And that'll go for icing. 7.26 remains in the third period of this tie game. So as we look at the standings, Armenia with three points. A tie gives them four, not enough to get them in, a, in the medal contention. A win gives them five and a tie with the Cayman Islands. But they didn't beat the Cayman Islands yesterday. They tied Bermuda. And in the game, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought I was thinking they played Cayman Islands yesterday. Cayman beat them. So Armenia, I don't think, has any chance here. But they can certainly play spoiler for a couple of teams. So the Cayman Islands got their Armenia jerseys on. Now the Cayman Islands have their destiny in their own hands. They're the team in the best position here. Oh, nice save by Kanedjian. Huge blocker save. Off the stick of Mike Varelli. That wasn't anyone shooting. That was big Mike Varelli hammering that one on that. And Joy Craighead from Team Great Britain just tweets out a picture of a massive bruise. She has somewhere on her body. That uh, could be a leg. It could be an arm. I'm not sure what it is, but to show them what it takes. The Tony Deke online somewhere in the world following us on Twitter. Subscribing to YouTube, so I'm going to think Tony's probably got us on the broadcast. Tony, big game for you and your Hong Kong mates today against Great Britain. We wish you guys the best of luck as well as the Hong Kong team. Been a very nice, I don't know if it's a surprise, they've been a nice story the way they've played here this week. Six minutes to play here in Hong Kong with that dangerous line of Lockie Kwan, Rick Lee, and Jordan So who if I were coaching would put those guys up against any line in the tournament, their speed and their offensive ability, absolutely second to none. That's sent deeper around the goal. Satachi in there with Uramian. 5.50 to play, two to two. Back here, Felici shoots, and that's blocked down there. Felici again, over here to Pascuzo. Haven't seen much of Elio, Elio Pascuzo today as Italy usually rolls three lines. Back here for Davizio. Davizio holds, fires. That's why Pascuzo gets a stick on that. Uremian down there, that's off the boards. And gets caught up on the mesh, so 522 to play here in the third. Panaroni sends that ahead. Scarito will chip that along. 
Bernardo comes together there with Evadesian. Scarito back here for Varelli. That goes past Varelli. High and into the Slovakian storage area up here. Shot wide of the goal there. Tomasicchio on that. Tomasicchio sends that for Fiaconi, and that's chipped up and out of play. 4.29 remaining now. Score remains 2 2. Lots of interested observers over there with Team Israel. Shot by Tomasicchio goes wide. As we just tweeted out, Israel needing a tie or loss from Team Armenia to set up a win and get in scenario against the Cayman Islands. So lots of interesting setups here. Pool B today. Italy with a win can set up an opportunity to be in the final. A tie does not get them there automatically as Hong Kong plays the last place Great Britain. Hong Kong and Italy in their round robin game, if you'll bear with me. Lost. So Italy with a win will put themselves in the gold medal game. A tie does not necessarily do the form. So we may see a situation where Italy pulls their goalie here in this tie game. A win will get them in the gold medal game. If not, they've got a hope for Great Britain to beat Hong Kong, so so many scenarios here in Pool B. And Italy, 26 shots today on Kinejian, only beating them twice. Rebound as Kinejian, again with the unorthodox style, stops Fiaconi, but guess who else had an unorthodox style? Dominic Hasek, and he made a career out of it. So here's Varelli again for the Italians. Uremian, or sorry, that's Vardazarmian, sends that around 315 to play here. Team Armenia definitely looking to play the role of spoiler. And the more time that ticks away, the closer they get to doing that and creating some mass confusion. And now Italy is going to be given a power play in a tie game with three minutes a week call by this official who's made a number of weak calls today. That's not a call you want for either team. Let the teams decide this one. And that's, that's bad. Kalachian will go for slashing, 256 remaining. So if this isn't an opportunity, I don't know what is. And Vikan Jan Bestian, number 88, who's not in the lineup to Armenia. I had to leave yesterday, but sending you all support from home. And Vikan, you're missing quite the game here today. Down there is Kanejian 
And he's there, Johnny on the spot again. And here we are again. It's DeVizio. DeVizio across here. Fiaconi scores! Huge goal. And Team Israel is cheering for that one as Adriano Fiaconi gets his second of the game. So Italy takes a 3-2 lead on the power play. 2.30 remaining. So Team Italy now with sights set on the gold medal game after that. 2.25 remaining. So a win here will vault Italy into the gold medal game. A tie, no good to them. Davizio ahead for Muia. Ferlisi chips that ahead. He goes down. That's sent in around. Muia met there by Uremian. And a Selfish, undisciplined penalty by Muia there. And away comes Armenia. Delay call on Muia. Vardas Armian ahead for Merkin. Merkin sends that deep, so they'll get the face off deep in the zone. So 130 remains in the third period. And now Team Armenia will go to the power play. So hang on, folks. We're not done yet. And we'll probably see a timeout here by Team Armenia. Yes, we do. So here we go, folks. Setting up for a great finish here. So Kanagian not out for the faceoff. And you can be sure that the Mercanator will be the extra man when Armenia do gain possession. Shot wide by Vardas Armian. And here comes the Mercenary. Knocked down by Uremian. Uremian. Over here. Fired Vardas Armian. That's wide. Chip back here for the Mercenator. The Mercenary. Vardas Armian. That shot is blocked by Panaroni. And Uremian will pick that up. Now, one minute to play. Uremian fires. That's loose down there, and Abrahamian can't get to it. Davizio out and down, and that's rolling toward the net. That's going to go, though. But they're on the penalty kill, so it's six on four here 
as Ari, the Mercenary. And that's four checked, and Davizio is in. Uremian's going to get whistled for slashing when Armenia do touch the ball. 25 seconds remain. So with 18 seconds left, Armenia called for the penalty. So Team Israel will play Team Cayman Island. Winner will go to the bronze medal game. And if Italy can hang out for the last 18 seconds, they will play for goal tomorrow against Team Bermuda. Timeout taken by Italy. 18 seconds, teams will be four on four. 18 seconds, not a lot of time in the game of ball hockey with a face off in your own zone. So with the win here, by virtue of their 4-3 victory over Hong Kong earlier in the tournament here on Tuesday, Team Italy will play for gold. Varelli breaks that up. Back for Avedisian, 10 seconds remains. That shot in, DiNardo stares that away. Giordano and Team Italy will play for gold. Great game by Team Italy, and also a great game by Team Armenia. 3-2 final. So that will take Team Armenia out of contention and bring to an end their 2013 World Ball Hockey Championship. A great showing by Team Armenia. And Italy, Italy, what a, what a story they are. They started the tournament with a tie against Israel. Then they lost their next game. Then they squeak one out against Hong Kong, and it turns out that squeaker against Hong Kong is the one that put them here in the championship. So Team Italy, slow start to the week. Player of the game presentations upcoming. And Rafi Kanajan, the player of the game for Team Armenia, well deserved. 27 saves, many of them of the outstanding variety. And Fiaconi. With a two goal effort here, propelling Team Italy to the final. Team Armenia now receiving tournament uh, uh, let me explain a bit, I guess the tournament has designed souvenir medals for the teams that will not play in the medal round. So they have received the International Street and Ball Hockey Federation and host committee St. John's 2013. Thank you, participation, souvenir medals. They're being presented down there by 
Shelly Callahan, and Lori O'Keefe from the host committee. As well as Jim Eastman, also of the host committee down there. And Tatey will get to hear that Team Italy national anthem again. Get me some gelato. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. Find me a unicorn. It's just such a happy anthem, folks. Such a happy anthem. And we'll hear it again. And Team Italy off to the gold medal game tomorrow. And who would have thought, after the way they started this tournament, that they'd be there so awesome for them. I'm so happy for them. And I'm also happy for Team Israel, who now has a meaningful game against the Cayman Islands to propel themselves to the bronze medal game. So here's the Italian anthem. So, folks, our next game will be 2 o'clock local time, and that will be between Team Israel and Team Cayman Islands. And stay tuned for the post-game show where we will have the Merkinator, Ari Merkin, from Team Armenia, the Merkinary. I keep saying Merkinator. Maybe I'm hungry for a Baconator. Somebody drop a Baconator off to the booth. And we're also hoping to have Adriano Fiaconi from Team Italy to discuss their big win. So stay tuned as we get those interviews in place and we'll be right back.
Bible pronunciation is your last name? My name is Ali Medra. Medra. But uh, on Ali, yes, my family is French, my father. He is a little bit Russian. I say the last name correctly. Don't worry about it. Okay, so folks, we are back here for the post game show in Bell Line Community One. We're joined by Ari Merkin of uh, Team Armenia. Ari, um, you guys knew coming into this one that the playoffs were uh, 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 very unlikely. We'll put it at that. Um, but a tough way to lose on a late penalty call. You guys still battled hard. Uh, you know, team that's looking to go to the gold medal game. Exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about that and uh, and uh, just, I guess, the way that game ended. Well, uh, of course, it's a little disappointing, but uh, we, we put our hearts on the line. Uh, we knew coming into this tournament that it was going to be really a tough challenge. Um, we didn't expect to, to, to go all the way either. We just wanted to, to gain the experience. This was our first showing. Uh, we just hope that uh, other Armenians are gonna. This is gonna open up their eyes, and they're gonna be able to. Uh, they're gonna want to come and, and join this team. Some other good Armenians that that couldn't join this year. Hopefully, in two years, we'll get uh, we'll get a better core. But uh, we're we're really proud with what we came. We're really proud with how we we finished. We got to hear our national anthem at least once. That is something that we we're really proud of. And um, yeah, it's tough losing. Uh, it's tough losing to any team, especially uh, like you said of the. Last uh, couple minutes with a penalty like that, but um, like they, the Italians deserved it. They played a tough game. They played a really good uh, running game, and uh, we just came a little short. That's it. Yeah, absolutely, and that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, without looking too far into it, I mean, you guys had chances you missed. They had chances they missed. You know, uh, just as a as a coach, so myself, I hate to see games decided late on power plays, but you know that's the way it goes sometimes. So Ari. Uh, uh, we had Mike uh, Uremian up here yesterday, and Mike was uh, talking a bit about the program and how you guys have put it together and how you're looking to grow and the exposure you've gotten this week and the success you've had because exactly. you guys have been in every single game. Yeah. And uh, I'll be honest, the first night of the tournament, I know you guys had a late practice here, yeah. and I looked down on the floor and I said, these guys don't look very good, but you guys came out and you battled, you competed, and played very, very well. So tell me about the progression from the time you guys got here in St. John's to right now when you're finishing well, up? Something that we're going to have to work on is all of us showing up at the same time. At the first <laughs> game, we were missing four guys. It's, it's tough to start when you're when you're short. We're playing two lines up front. Big field like this, especially when teams run you run, run at you, uh, you can't play two lines. So uh, next the next time around, we're going to have to show up with a full uh, three, four lines guaranteed. We can't, we can't have guys showing up a day, two days, three, four days uh, late. We only got our full team uh, at our fourth game. That yeah. was the first time when we had our full lineup. So uh, next time around, we're going to have to show up with a full squad. That's guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it shows. It, uh, I mean, uh, nothing against Great Britain, obviously. But I mean, our showing our first game was, was, was not what we're, we're made of. Um, also, we had jitters, obviously. It was sure. the first game. First time we're most of us playing internationally. So uh, it was tough, obviously, being short. But... Um, Look, we gained a lot of experience. Mm. A lot of us are going to go home with our heads up regardless of, the, of our uh, finish. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, like I said earlier, uh, this is going to open up the eyes of a lot of Armenians around the world and they're going to want to join this team. Some of us not be able to make, we, we, some of us won't be able to make it uh, on the next edition of the team in two years. A lot of guys are, uh, are over 35 on this team, so it's, we need some younger legs. Uh, but again, this is, a, this is a big eye opener for a lot of Armenians. We had a lot of supporters back home from all over the world actually because yep. Armenians we have a very wide di diaspora we're spread uh, around the world so uh, this is this is something that's going to open up the eyes of a lot of Armenians hopefully. yeah for sure and you guys uh, I agree definitely progressed uh, lots of we get emails here into the booth as the game's going on and uh, people, like you said, they could be in Armenia, they could be in Montreal. I know a lot of you guys are from Montreal, uh, but all over the world and so much support. And what does that mean to you guys here in a, in a you know, on the edge, of, on the edge of Canada, playing in a tournament, and you're getting so much love from everywhere else? It's, it feels wonderful, man. I, I don't, there's no uh, no way to put. I don't know what to say. It's it's. I'm speechless. The support, man. Every, all of us. Every time we we go back into the bus, we all get. We have like thousands of texts. Uh, Good. Regardless of if we win or lose mm. or tie the game, uh, we've been getting a lot of good feedback, uh, a lot of a lot of support, and that's what pushes us to want to do more, to to want to do better, uh, to want to improve and and come up with a with a better team uh, in two years. Not that this the, I'm not saying this team's uh, this team was was weak, yeah. But um, uh, we know that we know we know now what we're facing, and we know that we have to come out a little harder next time, a uh, bigger team, a uh, bigger lineup, not bigger in size necessarily, but uh, in terms of of numbers we need yeah. more uh, more players more lines 
more grit. It's yeah. gonna be. Uh, we're gonna come out hard. I, I guarantee you that the next showing, we're gonna be a team to watch. I tell you, and you guys aren't the only team in that in that position. It's really interesting. Uh, the guys with Israel are in the same boat. Yeah. The Greeks in the same boat. Uh, on the women's side, just just putting it together, yeah. um, and and Great Britain as well, and it's it's really inspiring to see the passion, the commitment as you guys as trailblazers, you know, being the first to do this, and you know, like you said, some guys may not be there in Switzerland, but other guys will be there because of these guys. Exactly. So that's 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 something that's uh, mm -hmm. a feather in your guy's hat, and you should be commended for that. Ball hockey is growing, man. Ball hockey is growing, and it, and it shows, and it's a it's a beautiful sport. Hopefully, it can grow even more, more and more and more. And uh, man, we've been treated like uh, like royalty over here at this tournament. We we absolutely loved our, our experience. Uh, this is a uh, for for a lot of us. This can be a once in a lifetime experience. So mm -hmm. we're all cherishing the moment. And like I said, we're gonna go home with our heads up high, and uh, we're gonna be greeted by a lot of our fans back home. That's guaranteed. That's we're all really happy about it. That's awesome, Ari. And uh, I guess uh, just we've been having a lot of fun up here. I've been going crazy because I've been here all day, every day, all week. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, obviously you're a big man. What's like, how tall are you? What's your weight? Like, I'm 6'3", 235. You are a large man. Yeah. So uh, I've been I've been hearing a lot of comments that I've been named the beast, the mercenary, the mercenary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I started looking. Makes at me the laugh. Name. It's good. It's good. I'm I, like, I how like this guy? He needs, a, he needs a nickname. So the mercenary is what I came up with. Mercenary, obviously, to play on that and <laughs> and a bit of fun. But you play. You're a big man. You play big, but some offensive skill. Uh, you play up, you play back. You play defense today. So. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's uh, what's your background uh, in terms of ice hockey, ball hockey, yeah. other sports, and what's led you here today? Uh, well, I've been playing pretty much any sport since uh, since the age of uh, since I've been a little toddler. But uh, ice hockey has been my sport since uh, since I was eight, and I, I have been coaching for the past six years as well. Um, and I've been playing ball hockey since about eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. um, PTM in Montreal. It's been uh, it's, it's a very uh, it's a solid league. Actually, a lot of like about 13 of the of the guys on Team Canada are from uh, PTM as yep. well. So uh, it's a very solid league. A lot of a lot of guys come uh, from a lot of these teams actually come from there. So, uh, but uh, other than that, I don't know. I play basketball. I play uh, anything actually. Whatever I can get my hands on. I've, I mean, I'm not an athlete per se, but uh, I, I can I, I think I can do pretty much any sport you throw me at. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, your size certainly helps out. Yeah. We'll let you get going. You guys are out of the tournament now. When do you guys fly out? I guess. Some of us leave today. Some of us leave Sunday. Some of uh, most of us are going to be leaving Monday at around three o'clock. I think our flights. So are going a back couple of so days to know. enjoy the hospitality, yeah, tonight, the nightlife. Tonight our goalie that got the player of the game is DJing at Sundance. So uh, he's not, is he? Yeah, he's a he's a actually very very popular DJ. Uh, yeah? uh, around the world. Yeah. So uh, he's he's he got booked for Sundance tonight. If anyone here does come come to Sundance tonight, it's gonna be a hell of a party. We're gonna blow the roof off the the, the place. Well, that's good because I've been looking for a place to go yeah. tonight, so we're going Sundance to Sundance. It is. Sundance, it is. everybody come to Sundance. Oh, that's the so beast tells you tells you to do it. And this guy's gonna be there. If you don't come, he's gonna drag you in <laughs> by the neck. So Ari, great talking to you. Anybody at home that you want to say hi to? You've been out here in Newfoundland uh, for a all week. the fans that have been supporting us back home, all my buddies, uh, my parents. Um, I know the, the person I wanna I wanna mention the most is my brother. I've been I've been with him. Uh, he's been with me all this tournament. I've been playing my heart out just for him, buddy. I love you. That's it. That's, That's it. awesome, bud. Well, I tell you what. I guarantee you, I will see you at the Sundance tonight. We'll have a beer. We'll listen to some tunes. That's it. And uh, and we'll have a good night thank out. Thank you for having me, man. Much Ari, thank you so much. Been a pleasure. And we may see you in Montreal That's for the it. Nationals. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. All right. Sounds good.
And we're still here at the post game show. They don't give me a break around here, folks. It's actually slave labor. But uh, we're joined by Adriano Fiaconi. Two goals today for Team Italy, vaulting the team into the gold medal game. You're the hero player of the game. Uh, and you've had a good tournament. Your Lions had a really good tournament. Um, tell me a bit about the game today, what it means for you guys after a slow start to be in the final tomorrow. Well, this game is, uh, was very important to us. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter how you make it to the gold medal game. You want to be there. Um, you know, we've had some bumps in the road, and it seems like every game we've played, we've struggled through it, but we found a way to win. And today was just another one of those where I thought, um, you know, we did have chances. I thought we didn't capitalize, but in the end, we were able to pull out uh, a victory and, and uh, give ourselves a chance in the finals for the gold medal game. Yeah, I thought their goalie, who was awarded player of the game, hasn't played in this tournament. Uh, Rushin's played the whole way for them. Uh, very unorthodox, but he managed to keep the ball out of the net, so... Yeah, um, you know, he played very well. Uh, give him a lot of credit. Um, we had a lot of chances, a lot of power play opportunities, and it seems like, you know, we either we were missing the net or he was making, you know, uh, uh, unbelievable saves. But, um, you know, we have to give Armenia credit because they gave us uh, one hell of a game today. So you guys will play Bermuda in the final. Haven't played them already this week. Uh, what's your take on them? What's the strategy tomorrow? What, uh, what do you do tomorrow to get over that hump? Oh, well, first off, I'm happy we're playing Bermuda because I think when we played them the second game of uh, the tournament, um, it was a close game, but uh, we ran into a lot of penalty trouble. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it, playing a 5-on-5 five five game um, will lend itself more to the style of game that we want to play. So, um, you know, when we said that after losing that game to Bermuda, we wanted to make it to the finals again, and we have our chance, and now it's just about who's going to show up and, and, and play tomorrow Absolutely. for the gold. Long tournament, uh, six days and seven or six games in seven days. Um, how is everybody holding up? Well, to be honest, we you know we have some tweaks here and there, but I'm sure everyone in this tournament's oh, doing man. that. Uh, for our team uh, or every, anyone playing, we we had five games in a row before a day off yesterday. So um, you know you can imagine that takes a toll on your body. Um, but you know everyone's in the same boat. Um, and to be honest, uh, tomorrow will be the seventh game. So. You know, at this point of the tournament, you're playing for gold, and it's uh, it's about who wants to win more. I don't think you feel the bumps and bruises. You may next week, but not tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, I think you're absolutely right when you say that. And in any sport, it often doesn't come down to the most skilled team. It's yeah. who wants it more, and, uh, you know, you put yourself in a position to get there. Um, I guess speak a bit about the team. Uh, you guys missed the last tournament in 2011, which is why you're down here in the B pool. Again, started a bit slow, building, building, building. Uh, how, have you guys, how have you guys come together as a group this week? And um, how has the time here, your off time in Newfoundland, contributed to the success as you're gaining momentum? Well, I'll tell you this. We have maybe about eight or nine guys that were with us in Prague. Um, and it wasn't fortunate that we didn't have a chance to go to Slovakia. So one of our goals uh, coming into this tournament was to win this B pool and try to build this program up again. Um, because there are a lot of people, you know, saying that the Italian program might, you know, weren't there. And it, it took a lot of work in a short amount of time, both for the women's and the men's team, by our staff uh, to put this together. So, you know, we're really appreciative of what they've done. Um, regarding our, our team bonding, we had, you know, a few times where we could practice and stuff, but I think we really bonded as a team uh, here in Newfoundland. Um, there's one thing about our Italian team is that we eat well and we like to go out and uh, enjoy time when, when it's needed. So um, we bond very, very quickly as a team. And I think um, the team that we have this year is one of the best full group teams that we've had in a long time. So um, I think by the end of this week, everybody's a little looser and we're, we've been having a really good time here and eating a lot of fish. <laughs> a lot of yeah, fish, a lot eh? Of fish. Where's the, uh, give a shout out to your uh, place of choice. Where have you guys uh, been going? We're from Toronto, the majority of us. So we'd like to uh, thank everyone, any fans and family who are watching in Toronto. Uh, my brother should be home painting our, our new house that we bought. Um, <laughs> And other than that, you know, everyone uh, who's, who's supported us through, through, you know, whether it's fundraising, whether it's coming out to our events, whether it's watching uh, on TV here, we'd like to thank you guys for all your hard work and dedication and uh, for allowing us to be in the gold medal game today. Absolutely, and, and so much support. We've got actually the numbers for the week have come in, and there's been over 66,000. By the end of today, it'll be over 70,000 people have yeah. tuned in to the broadcast. So a lot of people watching, a lot of supporters emailing, tweeting, uh, and that's got to be awesome for you guys. Yeah, I think it's great. And, you know, with, with, with 
technology and social media just makes it more fun. And I know I have a bunch of friends who should be uh, doing mortgages that they're probably watching the, uh, the game in an office somewhere. But, um, you know, I'd like to thank even the women's team for always being here to yes, support us yeah. and uh, really helps when we have a good group of uh, people here uh, to make the tournament what it is for our for Team Italy and also for, uh, you know, the World Ball Hockey Championships. That's awesome, Adriano. It's been very nice speaking with you. You guys get on the bus, go get some food. Yeah, and, get a shower uh, and uh, some uh, lobster. <laughs> awesome. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the gold medal. So yeah. there it is. Thank you for your time. All right, Adriano. Thank Thanks. you so much, man. Take care.